Okay, I think that I said everything that you need to know, right? Like, did I tell you that inside your little recording box you can throw your PowerPoint slides in there? Did I tell you? I, I think I probably should give you a little bit of rah-rah about why you should be um, brave like me and put your picture in here. And honestly, like, people will connect with you better if you are sitting there talking to them. As opposed, so my students, my face-to-face -face students in my flipped biology classes, like I'm talking to them, and they know it. And so if I like, I can I can give them specific personal like I love you information, and they feel that. In fact, when I'm sitting here recording these video lectures all by myself in my office, which, dude, that's kind of weird. But when I'm doing that, I'm actually envisioning talking to my students. Like, it's not, I'm not making it up. I really do, like, I'm really talking to you. And that, I think, comes through and makes it a little bit easier to watch. Um, so, wow factor. This just kind of makes me want to cry. Let's just go to the interactions section. You can put on any slide that you have, whether you want to just have, you know, let's add a blank slide to this mix. Here's a blank slide right here. Well, you can add buttons, click boxes. Click boxes are awesome <laughs> because you can like put a click box, box, a click box over the top of something and then you can say, now boys and girls, go click on the medial malleolus and then your students have to go and click on the medial malleolus, which is actually found on the um, distal portion of the tibia. Yeah. So it's, I mean, really, like the potential is grand and exciting with the things you can do. Drag and drops. Um, you can have buttons and obviously, like, seriously, just, it makes me want to cry all this stuff that you can do. Throwing in a question slide. Look at this. What? You can put in all these different kinds of questions. And then the students, like, I know it's possible, and I've actually tried to do this part. There is a way to make Captivate produce content that will talk to your LMS. And if anybody out there is like, oh, yeah, I do that all the time, and Canvas is my LMS, I will send you chocolate if you tell me how to do it and if I even can do it or if I need um, Reno the rock star to do it for me, but whatever. Reno's a rock star, he'll do it. So there's all sorts of stuff that you can do here and it literally, like you, you have no limits when it comes to um, the kinds of learning environments that you wanna design. And I probably should just, as a little last thing, I should probably say that a flipped classroom, the video lecture is just, like, it's important that your students actually watch the video lecture, so they have to be remotely engaging and valuable to them. But really what the important part is the interaction. Like, they have to interact with the content. And in my dream world someday, my students will interact with the content before they come to class on a basic level so that they have an opportunity to practice on their own. Then when we get to class and we're doing more applications and some of that harder stuff, um, it will be really valuable. Okay. I hope that wasn't very long, but I kind of think it was. But now I'm done, and so I'm going to go away. I hope that you, I don't know what I hope. I hope you're eating chocolate right now. Okay.